Hello everyone, welcome to the Ecamm channel. This is Xu Hang. Since our first uploaded video, it has been more than three years. Now we have more than 5,000 subscribers, really unexpected and excited, because we are really not popular scientists. We built this channel initially to do free knowledge sharing for new researchers who want to learn electrochemical analysis and the fundamentals of electrochemical energy storage. Our channel is still updating now, as many of you are still following our videos. Thank you for accompanying us. Hope the current and future videos will still be helpful to your research and your life in the lab. Recently, we are thinking how to improve our channels and we will add a new type of video next time. Looking forward. Today, this is a fun video. I heard from one of my friends that there is a website that uses artificial intelligence to help us tell the major charge storage mechanism of an electrode. I think it is bound to explore and share what I think. I'm going to challenge the AI with some CVs from my papers. So here we see the home of this website-based artificial intelligence. So it's very funny title said welcome to terrible battery robots so basically this website says it can tell the charge storage mechanism whether it is a battery pseudo capacitor or a capacitor based on the cv and gcd curves And it claims that a number of scientific papers has been imported and used as uh, the data for its analysis. And as well as uh, there is uh, some data privacy information here. So as I said, that I'm using a CV from my own paper. One is because I know better the charge storage processes of my CV. And the second is to avoid the copyright issues. So, okay, let's see, how does it work? Let's go to the terrible battery robots. Hello, terrible robots. Let's start with either GCD or CV. Hmm, nothing happened. Uh, okay, then maybe GCD. Yeah, so please input your GCD image. It's really good that it allows us to input JPG or JPG figures instead of inputting the original data. So it will be much easier. Let's see, choose file. So I will first challenge it with a GCD curve. So if we open it like this, and clicked predict image successful uploading and display below. It's very clear to see that the GCD curve is uh, perfectly linear shaped. So this is actually from a double layer capacitor. So let's see what does it say. Okay, it predicted it as a pseudo capacitor type, but the capacitive tendency is about 96%. So it's just a more of a capacitor rather than a battery. Okay, then the, uh, the, the website can only tell between the pseudo capacitor versus battery. That's fine. Then uh, we will put in another figure that I will show later. Yeah, so if you see this GCD curve, there is a small bump here. So this bump corresponds to a very small surface redox processes. So let's see how does the artificial intelligence tell us. Yes, it is also our pseudo capacitor type and the capacity of tendencies is still about 96%. Okay, then let's start with some trial on the CV curve. I will choose CV instead and uh, choose file then I will give it a real typical pseudo capacitor CV curve 
So this CV curve is of course not rectangular shaped. It has like stronger peaks and more negative potential. So this is a very typical structure for intercalation type of pseudocapacitor. And let's see what the artificial intelligence tells us. So his prediction is that the type is pseudocapacitor and the capacitance tendency is about 50%. Here it explains what the capacitive tendency means. So it's based on the binary classification between pseudocapacitor versus battery with percentage of confidence. Okay, then if it's predicted as 51%, then it means he's really not very confident with the prediction that he offered. But anyways, his answer is pseudocapacitor type, which is pretty correct for this CV. Um, then I will challenge it with a more difficult one. Is this one. So, and this CV is from my previous paper published on ACS Nano titled Titanium Carbide Maxine Shows an Electrochemical Anomaly in Water in Salt Electrolyte. We observed a type of CV curve with a pair of redox peaks that has a very large peak separation. So based on the shape of CV, it should be more of a battery type instead of uh, a pseudocapacitor because of the large peak separations and also a very strong uh, intensity of the peaks. Then let's see what does it say. Okay, actually he is more confident compared to the previous figure and suggest that this is a pseudocapacitor and really surprised me. Okay, uh, let's see if it is because I include too many CVs here. I will choose uh, another figure shows uh, similar things. Yes, so, so this figure is more clear that I have two separate peaks on the cathodic and anodic scan. Let's see, how does it say? Ah, okay, then uh, the prediction becomes battery type. I'm not sure if he become unhappy because the, the capacitive tendency is about 47% and, and true. Based on the shape of CV, it is more of a battery type process. However, based on the in situ and the ex situ further characterizations, we find that these two peaks actually correspond to a very interesting dissolution free charge storage process that are actually more of a capacitive behavior instead of a battery behavior. As you say, that artificial intelligence on this website can somehow help tell us the charge storage mechanism, but the information that can be offered is limited as they can only tell from the shapes of CVs and GCD curves. The real charge storage mechanism can only be revealed combining the further material characterizations. We maintain this channel only on the weekends. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. The video in our Recam channel are only for educational purposes and knowledge sharing. Please subscribe, share, and like our videos to support our channel. Thank you for watching the video today. See you next time.